Hey guys, I am Dyche and I am here playing some magic, and today I'm going to be running some zombies. I like the zombies. I don't think that they're the best deck in the game, but I certainly enjoy playing with them pretty much always. Um, I don't know how to evaluate this hand. I think it's okay. Um, I have two zombies, and I have two removal spells. I have the correct amount of land, and I'm on the play, so I, I really can't toss this one back. Um, I don't know. I guess you could toss it back. Like, there, there is there is the thought that, okay, you have a good enough hand, so keep it. But there's also the, the school of thought that it's just like, even if your hand is good enough, it's not good. It's not like uh, I have a clear plan of action. Okay, this is how I'm going to win the game. I still need to work on that. And um, he's got a Krovigan Mist. Okay, that's fine. Um, next turn, I'll swing in. And I'll actually play my, two my three drop. Um, I do like like the go for the throat here play, but um, man, maybe I maybe I do just want to go for his throat. I don't know. I don't like stalling this game out. I want to get um, as much board presence out there as possible as soon as possible. So I'm gonna play my Sanguine Guard and Ghoul Caller's Chant is an interesting card here. Not great. Uh, I really wish that this deck had, like, Barter and Blood. If this deck had Barter and Blood instead of the Vampires, I think it would be way more valuable because Barter and Blood basically... I don't know. It's just... It would be a little better. I mean, the... the, the th oh, wow. That's amazing for me because now I'm going to be able to kill both of his dudes next turn. Um, double Throat worth. Oh, he didn't even attack. God. Um, well, in that case, I'm just going to swing him with both my dudes. And if he blocks one of them with the Shepherd of Rot, then I will just go for the throat the other one. And then I'll, I'm able to trade Shepherd of Rot for and a go for the throat for those two guys instead of just, um, yeah, go for his throat. Uh, I still lose my Shepherd of Rot, but he's not such a big deal as considering I have a Ghoul Caller's chant. But either way, I'm not, I'm not looking outstanding right now because like look look at the uh, situation I have two cards in the graveyard he's got two cards in the graveyard so I didn't gain any uh, absolute advantage from doing that okay that's fine I didn't gain any absolute advantage from doing that I just sort of um, what do I want to draw okay swamp is fine um, yeah okay I, I didn't I didn't actually gain any advantage from doing it I just was able to deal with his dudes without um, yeah, I probably should have thought about that. I don't know why. I was like, okay, I'll just do it next turn. But, wow, that was really dumb. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I was trying to explain stuff rather than actually think about playing magic. Uh, hopefully he taps out here and I'm able to get my Grave Titan out there. I'm not going to play him if my opponent still has two mana up, two or three mana up. It's just, it's not worth the risk here. It's, it would just pretty much be dumb. Unless he's got zero cards in hand. Like, yeah, I'm not playing right into the cancel. That would, um, it just wouldn't be intelligent here. But at least I did draw the land, so now I can play him whenever um, I feel it is necessary. Hopefully he'll repulse him here. That would be the nuts. Um, doesn't look like he's going to, but I'll just pass the turn. Uh, again, it, there's, it would just be dumb to play, play into freaking cancel. When he's got f three cards in hand and uh, mana. Oh my god, yes. You are the worst player ever. I love you. <laughs> But um, okay, I'm still at 20 life. I was about to I was about to start thinking about um, how like how much damage he can do per turn, and he can actually do a significant amount of damage per turn here. Um, if he's got freaking uh, re uh, curfew, no not curfew. If he's got a repulse, then I could be in some trouble because if he repulses my grave titan um, and plays a dude, why am I swinging in with this guy? What the hell am I doing? Shit. Okay, well, I guess I'll just Ghoul Caller's Chant to go get those two back. That was really dumb. Um, I'm a little annoyed right now, because I'm bad at magic. I made multiple mistakes this game. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm not focusing today, but um, as I was saying, he could, if he plays a dude, repulses my guy, bribery, massacre worm, badness, sad town, <laughs> god, that was, that was the worst. Holy shit. Like, Skin render? Wow. He could have gotten Massacre Worm. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's not the worst because it still deals with my Grave Titan, but so would Massacre Worm. Massacre Worm would have dealt with my Grave Titan and the tokens. That's just the. That was really, really bad. Okay, well, um. 
That's interesting. I think I still swing in with the Grave Titan. He's probably going to block it. I get it for four. I get two more dudes. Grave Titan did his job. He made four guys and killed one of his dudes. So I, I approve this message. <laughs> um, the only problem is I might be dying soon because uh, I might be dying sooner than he is, rather. Because, uh, actually, I don't think he can really swing in next turn. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six zombies on board. So it um, looks like I've pretty much got him dead on board. If he swings in here, um, I go... Jace's Ingenuity. Draw double Grizzle Blues and win the game? Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, he's not going to swing back. And... It looks like what I'm going to do next turn is I'm just going to swing in with these eight guys. I mean, th these, uh, these ten power of dudes. And then tap the Shepherd of Rot uh, and then win the game. Yeah, all right. So he's going to swing in for three. That's fine. Uh, it looks like I pretty much have won this game, even with my terrible mistakes. But, he, I mean, he made bigger mistakes than I did. So uh, I'm not too upset about that. Anyway, let's just get in there, broskies. And I don't know what he was thinking, swinging in with that ether figment, but there really wasn't much he could do anyway to win this game at this point. Um, and we'll just tap this dude here. And die both of us, and now you die more. <laughs> so that's how Shepherd of Rot wins games. And uh hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was pretty close, I thought. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye.